Hello everyone, this is David Nguyen from Eyebrows Academy. Alright, in this video I just want to play around with the uh, scar pigmentation. Okay, so here I am using the uh, Momtech Digital Hand R. Okay, and I'm using this cartridge here, just one needle, and I'm using some black pigment right here. So I just learned that you know in order to do scar pigmentation you you need to follow a, some uh, some basic uh, basic principles yeah number one you should not see blood number two you have to do a uh, couple of sessions I think minimum maybe three uh, number three do not go too deep because you don't really need to see bleeding okay so it's kind of, um uh, you have to do a couple of iterations, yeah. And the uh, the next one is uh, you have to do some dots and you have to do some hairs to make it look more natural, yeah. Let's get down to it, okay. So I'm going to do. And how do we know if we go too deep enough? Uh, we have to observe how big is the dot. You see right here. You see that tiny dot I just make very tiny right here. You see right here. That mean if the dot is small like that, that mean we uh, we did not go really deep. But now let's me make a bigger dot, vertically going down, right? Vertical. You see? You I just go down like that, and bigger dot like that. That mean I go a little bit deeper. Okay. So just by observing the diameter of the dot, we know how deep we go. Okay. So try to spread out the dot and we also need to make some hairs yeah, so that it look natural. You see? Okay, dot, dot, make some hair. Okay. Okay. You see? Not only dot, but they make some hair, you see? These are the dots right here, and then they make some hair right there, so that it look more natural, okay? And then we will, we will try to uh, wipe off the pigment, and then we we'll test out, check out, and we'll work later. Okay. So normally on the uh, scalp, we do the first round, and then we have to wait maybe two or three weeks, and then the lock line come back, and then we do the next one. Okay. So we just keep going like that. Okay, you should uh, hold it vertical, okay, vertically to the uh, skin. But because I'm doing the filming, so I go with at some angle so that the camera can see. Okay. So if you do the whole scalp, maybe that's a lot of work. So you need to think about how many hours that you need to work and then divide the section or you go, you know, let's say the whole scalp is like a thousand dots. The first time you spread out the whole scalp, maybe doing like 300 or 400 dots and the second round fill in, you know, three or four hundred dots and the third time you cover the whole thing. What I'm saying is that, you know, instead of doing just a tiny section of the scalp, you do the whole scalp, but spread out the dots so that you can quickly finish in the amount of time that you can afford or you available to you. Next time the client coming back, fill in more dots. Okay. Okay. So what do I mean by that? All right. Hold on. Suppose this is the area that we need to fill in. Right. All right. Suppose this is a the area that we need to fill in. Okay. 
but the problem is we don't have time so what I'm saying is that the very first time when we do it we have to do the whole thing yeah because if we just do this section it looks really weird right so we have to do the whole thing but we do is very sparsely you see what I'm saying the first time we do it we try to do the whole thing but not really dense why because we want to finish quickly right because if, if you think about the scalp you don't want to spend like the whole day and the client might not have the time to sit there the whole day for you to do it so the first time we fill the whole scalp very sparsely right so that the client can go home and we can go home okay so as you can see that's the first time the whole scalp, right? So the second time the client coming back, now we feel more, okay? Now we feel in more, okay? You see? And again, the client might not have time, so we have to quickly feel out as much as we can, right? And some of the old dots, we need to go over them again, right? Okay, we need to go over them again, okay? You see? So now the client has to go home, alright, we just send the client home, you see? And then the next side, the client coming back, now is we need to keep filling out. You see? Okay, we keep filling out. So what I'm saying is you have to do complete scalp in cup of session to completely fill out. And then also touch up the previous one, okay? Make sure do not go too deep. We don't need to see bleeding. But again, the old dots or the old hair, we need to redo them if they fade or fill in more pigment to make them darker. So because we do in couple of sessions, some you will see darker, some roots hair, hair roots you see lighter, so let's make it look a little bit more realistic, okay? So scalp pigment, uh, scalp pigmentation is a whole, another whole area, another whole practice that you probably need some training. Okay, there's some very good people out there. So look them up, or you can learn by experiment. Get some model, get some good tool, and try it out to see how it heals. Okay. Maybe the first time you do on the model, just do a small section, maybe one square inch. And then see how that works out for you. Okay. Alright. Okay, I just lost some power. Alright, so that's all I have to show you. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. And then, you know, just get some good machine and, you know, one point needle and try it out. See how it works out for you, okay? Thank you and goodbye.